What a comeback the Steelers just made. You know what? Before we start this video, I want to say one thing. Sweep! Sweep! We swept the Bengals. Barely. Yeah, barely. That's all I'm going to say. We barely won. We barely escaped with the win. Yes, because this was a good game. This was a good game. It really was, in my opinion, you know. Wasn't too many big fights, but there was a lot of big hits. A lot of big hits. It definitely was. A ton of big hits, you know. Every time this, these two teams face you, you got to expect a lot of hits coming. Around. Exactly. Exactly. Let's start with the, the first half. Let's start with the game recap. Let's start with the first half. I don't know what this. What? I don't know what the Steelers' offense and defense was doing. Yeah, uh, our offense couldn't get anything going. I mean, the defense, nothing. Our offense couldn't get nothing going. The defense literally let the Bengals literally go right through them for twenty points. Yeah, like where was this defense we saw a few weeks ago? For real though. Yeah. But the second half of the game, like this team uh, upgrade, which I which I expected. The offense played good, even though they went down the field. They just couldn't but, get in the end zone. Besides, with Eli Rogers getting that touchdown. Yeah, which was the only touchdown by the Steelers of the day. Like, then the defense stepped up. I think got, like, one or two sacks, one pick. Yeah, that was a big uh, pick by Timmons. Oh, definitely that was. A big, big pick by Timmons in the third quarter. It definitely was. But I want to get on to someone else. Chris Boswell. Definitely player of the game. Six... Field goals. I believe all with all of them were from forty plus yards. Something like that. Yeah. Um, he got us eighteen out of twenty four points. That shows you. That shows you the kind of kicker that Boswell is. Yes. I mean, for a second, I thought we were going to win the game with just field goals, and that would have been a freaking hilarious. I mean, that would have been embarrassing not only to the our offense because we couldn't get in the end zone, but to the Bengals mainly. Like Boswell, like the team, the team didn't play so well. Boswell played Absolutely. amazing. Absolutely. All most of our points came from that guy. Yeah, and dude, I was getting irritated from this offense and defense in the first half. Like they couldn't get nothing going, nothing. But the second half, they stepped up. They were like, if we want to get into the playoffs, try to make it to the Super Bowl, we got to play better. We have to step up. And that is exactly what they did, especially against the rival. Absolutely. Definitely. That gives us a lot of momentum heading into Christmas Day next week against Baltimore in Pittsburgh. Yes. So that should be fun. But I want to get to one more thing. Jeremy Hill, if you guys saw, he got a rushing touchdown, and after the play, he picked up, a t I believe it was a terrible towel, he picked up a terrible towel off of the ground, he started crumbling up, he started ripping it, like, you disrespectful fuck! That's, you, a, that's a disrespectful act from a Bengals player. Do you, you see him, TJ, how, Houseman, how, Houseman how the it. heck you pronounce his last name, you see him clean his cleats with it, you see him keep Bullock of the... Titans, you know, stomp on it. You know, we all saw what happened, you know. And then Jeremy Hill just comes by, picks it up, and starts crumbling, ripping it. How disrespectful. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it looks like, uh, because when people do that, it's known as a curse. And, uh, it seems like that curse hit him pretty, pretty good because he got injured later in that game. Now, I'm not the type of person that wishes injury upon people or players. Because he's a talented player. Yeah, he is. He definitely gave us a big challenge. But, uh. The whole Bengals But the fact the that he disrespected our towel. Many other fans may just see it as a regular towel. It's a symbol of this team. Exactly. It's a symbol of this fan base. So, the f when you disrespect the towel, you disrespect the team. Exactly. And the fan base. And you pay for it. And that's exactly what they did. They paid for it, you know. But uh, overall, this game was pretty good by the Steelers. Not the first half. I'm talking about the second half. Yeah. This team... Played very good, but Boswell was just definitely absolutely. Player of the game. Boswell was just freaking amazing. Perhaps definitely the best player of this team this week. Yeah, absolutely. You know, he definitely helped us win the game. You know, eight, 18 points out of 24. 18 points by a kicker. That's, I mean, that's kind of embarrassing from to our great offense. We're known as having a great offense, but yet we only got in the end zone once. Even though the second half, Ben played better. Bell played better. Yeah, but uh, but anyway, it was a pretty good game. We won. I mean, that's the fact that we won. I mean, we sweeped the Bengals. Yeah, which this was year. actually great to see. So, uh, 
All you Bengals fans out there can shut the hell up now. Keep on saying, oh, we're going to win the division. We're, and, the, and, we're the kings of the AFC North. What the hell are you doing this year? Yeah, exactly. And you guys say that we live in the past. We live in the past. All you guys do is talk about freaking last year when you guys won the division. Yeah, okay. And, and I don't want to hear this. It was the ref that called so many penalties. They missed so many calls on the Bengals. But now you're blaming the refs because they called so many penalties on you guys? But again, what team doesn't blame the refs? Exactly. Don't say that we're blaming the refs. No. Everyone blames the refs, okay? So don't use that as an excuse. Everyone you guys, you guys lost fair and square. That's it. Yeah. So, But still, it was a good game. We came out with the win. Let's just prepare for... For Baltimore next year on Christmas Day. Next year, you mean next week? Next week, yeah. yeah. But it's going to be an intense game because th- these two teams, the Steelers and the Ravens, next week on Christmas Day, they're going to fight. Not only that, for the playoff, but for this division. Exactly. And it's going to be an all-out war, and it, I am excited for this game. And the Ravens barely beat Philly today. Barely, if you know, if they just decided to go for the friggin' extra point. But they didn't. Idiot. But uh, yeah, they they beat they barely beat Philly, so they are they're what seven what seven six, if I'm correct. What's their record? I can't remember really. Yeah, but who cares? Uh, but uh, thing is, we're we're nine five now. No, not seven six, eight six. I'm freaking retarded. We're nine five now. So if we lose next week, hopefully we don't. That ties us in Baltimore. So, I mean next next week's basically the biggest game of the year right now. So we gotta win that game, but let's just let's just enjoy this win and let's prepare for next week. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you later. Peace.